ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tia Brown, and I'm a student at Curzon University. And today I want to discuss with you epidemic disturbances, that's the spread of the HIV and AIDS virus. It's very easy for us to avoid HIV or AIDS because if we just decline from doing our simple things as risky businesses or risky behaviors, then you cut down your chances of a that's basically contracting the HIV and AIDS virus. Simply put, if you're talking about risky behavior, you're going to have risky behaviors listed as unprotected sex, basically not wearing condoms or using dentidam. If you don't know what dentidam is, dentidam is a little plastic piece of fabric that they use on the, on the females doing oral sex. And usually it's used between women and women. The other thing is sex under the influence of alcohol and drugs. That's for you young people that want to go out to nightclubs and get drunk, get crumbed, and go home with girls you don't know. Guess what? You might wake up with something you don't want the next morning. The other thing for those addicts that share needles with works. The other thing would be multiple partners. If you have one partner, step with that one partner, you stand a better chance of not contracting the disease. If you have more than one partner, you don't know who that other person might be sleeping with. The last thing is knowing the status of your partners. If you feel uncomfortable asking your partner to get tested, then you shouldn't sleep with that partner. Because you don't know who that partner slept with, and you don't know whether or not they may have the disease. Now, this is a disease that eventually will kill you. But in the process, you can have HIV and still be healthy. The simplest way to know and the simplest way to start living your life is to get tested. There are two tests that are performed for the HIV and AIDS virus. The first one is called the ELISA. The second one is the Western Black Test. Both of these tests can be very easily done. They usually swab the mouth or you can do a blood test. Nowadays you have tests that only take up to 20 minutes. I'm going to swab in the mouth to a vial. 20 minutes later, are you positive or not? There's some questions you can ask yourself and ask other people. And this is one of the things that you'll know whether or not you should get tested for HIV. Questions to yourself and to other people would be, have you had unprotected sex? Oral, vaginal, or anal? Have you been diagnosed with anything like hepatitis or TB or any form of STDs? Have you had sex with someone that might be infected? That goes back to knowing your partners. Have you been sexually assaulted? That happens to men too. Have you injected drugs or shared needles with anyone else? Unfortunately for those young people, that like tattoos, problems with your skin. You're going to catch things like herpes simplex, which is like sores around your mouth. It could be sores on your skin. It could be sores on your genitals. Just open cluster sores. Gorilla zoster. That's an easier word. There's an easier name for that. That's called the chicken pox or shingles. I'm sure everybody in here has had chicken pox or seen chicken pox. 
But shingles is a disease where it shows up as pustules or as bumps down one side of your body because it travels down one nerve. Then you have carparsi subcoma, which is a form of cancer, which you catch it by the HIV virus, which is caused by herpes simplex. You also have problems with your oral health. You can have candiasis, which is a fungal infection, which basically is what they call thrush. You get this white coating in your mouth. You have periodontal disease. Your gums are going to turn black. Your teeth might start turning. You might go gumless. <laughs> you can also get herpes simplex that goes back to this one over here, which is the open source by the mouth. Neurological effects of HIV and AIDS. You can have brain damage later on in the process. You can have dementia. Basically, what, you, what it means is once, you're, once you progress to the AIDS virus, your brain is going to start to deteriorate. You're going to start losing your thoughts. You're going to start losing your ways. You're going to start not knowing where you're at. You're going to forget your logos. You can develop brain tumors, which goes back to the carpacy sarcoma. You can also have multifocal leukocephalopathy. <laughs> this is not an easy word to pronounce. But basically what this is, it's a cancer, and it basically attacks all your nerves in your body. And it shuts your body down. So then you won't be able to walk, you won't be able to talk, you won't be able to sit up, you won't even get to be in a situation where you feed yourself. Last effect would be something called wasting effect. That's where they get that mess where people would always say, if you see somebody that's really skinny, and they look sick, they gotta have AIDS. Not necessarily true, but however it is. Wasting effect is one of the last signs and symptoms you'll see in a person. And that's basically a, a drastic drop in weight. And that's usually coming from a situation of they have extreme diarrhea, loss of appetite. Once you get to this stage, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, you're not too far from death. Like I said in the beginning of this speech, HIV and AIDS is something that's very deadly. HIV can be lived with for a long time if you live a healthy life. If you go out and drink and drug and smoke and continue to have multiple sexual partners, then guess what? You're heading to your grave. If you have AIDS, unfortunately, you're going to progress to the point where you're going to die. Because this is an uncurable disease. Ladies and gentlemen, basically what I would like to tell you is avoid your risky behaviors. Make sure that you take care of your situations with your partners. Get tested. Because unfortunately, we don't know who did what this is. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say this one thing, and I want you to remember it really good. AIDS does not discriminate against anyone, but we can discriminate against it. Get tested. Get educated. And be smart. Thank you very much. And have a good day.